you know, made me all made me think about all these ideas sure. that maybe it's too much for people, and maybe yeah. that's what they're saying. Yeah. You know, I don't have time to pay attention to social media right. that that right. my my kids are watching. I don't have time to look at healthcare costs. I don't have time to look in to see if what people are telling me is true. Right. I don't have time. You know, it's almost yeah. like I just have to sit back and and just take it, let it happen. That's an because because I'm overwhelmed. That's a really important point. That look, the, the average guy out there who and woman and family really in a sense is living their lives day to day so they're not paying they attention do. to all this stuff that's in the news they're not reading you said that earlier we today. know that okay um and something about a bell-shaped curve you you mentioned i was gonna too. bring that up oh yeah okay there you go uh that uh how many people uh 84 percent are average or below okay okay and all we right. can't that's, ever forget uh, that i don't know nobody and, wants and, to hear that and, and again people clicking off the video right and again now. they're overwhelmed but they're overwhelmed, and yes. so they don't have the time. Their day-to-day life is to make a living, deal with the kids, just deal with try the to work, get by, get through, yeah. repeat the next day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's a, it's a shame. It's a shame because I think really the information now is much more available. Uh, the internet is there. Okay. Uh, you okay. can uh, take a part of your day and read a book or listen to an NPR yes. program like you do and there are other, other kind of things that happen and become more informed. I, I can't see us surviving very long without being informed. I don't know how this is going to go. And, and I don't disagree with you. Um, I teach a class called uh, Information Literacy. Okay, uh, and in that I like it. and in that course, one of the things, one of the textbooks I've used a few times is called "Information Anxiety," having to do with information overload. We have so many inputs, we have so right. many feeds, we have so much coming in, and we can't even look at it. It's like think back when you used to have magazine subscriptions. Magazines, I've heard. Of Remember those, those kind of glossy <laughs> things, yeah, like, but they used to come to your house. And, you know, you'd start out and you were cool. You'd have hot rodding and gardening and cooking and you'd read them. And then right. after a while, they just start piling up. And you say, you know, when I get a chance, I'm going to read that. And you pile them up. And when I get a chance, and that chance doesn't come. Well, and, that's, and that was just using magazines. Right. Now we have the instant feeds. Right. You know, right. and, and you and I were talking as we got prepared for the show today of, you know, what sources do we use? Well, I look at the New York Times every day. Yeah. And I read the yeah. Grand Rapids Press every day. Okay. And I look at the Columbus Ledger and Quarter in the print edition every day. Oh. And, yeah, I, and I listen to NPR every right. day, like mm, all day long. It's yeah. And, and I'm trying to get all these news feeds, but I stay away from social media. Okay. I mean, uh, now and then I'll look at Yahoo <laughs> okay, when okay, I get on yeah. and I'll see all their, you know, the trending the news trending stories. Thing. So, yeah. Somebody's wearing a dress about made by somebody uh, at a, a certain or, or thing or something. This, I don't know. Yeah, something happened to this person or, you know. But again, it's so much information. It is. Even for me. And and then what happens, I think, too, is um, I've come across these news feeds and these things, these uh, well, it's for the corporation, it's, it's uh, industry now, where they summarize the news for you. Oh, yes. You don't have to read the entire article, my friend. We'll give you a blurb of three or four sentences, and now That's all you you're need? moving on. Well, and, and That's think, something's wrong with that, right? Well, one of the <laughs> things that we talk about in that information literacy course is if you're getting your information that way, somebody's screening it for you. Somebody else's yes. biases yes. are determining what you're going to be fed and in what form it's coming. So they may leave out some parts that you oh. would think are very important, and they deliver something that is not that. But you don't have any control over that. that well, and it'd be the same as if I read the newspaper and then tell you what's in it. I and I'm going to you. tell you the stuff that's important to me. Right. And I'm going to give it the slant that's important to me. And if it's not that important, we may not even get to it. So right. then you hear me tell you that, and you talk to your friend, and you say, hey, did I you? I spread it, by the way. Exactly. And that's what's happening on social media the same way. Yeah. We're yeah, picking yes. little bits out. Yes. That's what's and happening. And that's what we're putting out there. And so, again, you've got all this bias and all these filters that yes, aren't it necessarily. Is filters. It is filters. That aren't necessarily your filters.